Hey there, thanks for tuning in. I have a really um, fun curriculum that I am excited to show you guys today. It is the newly released Apologia Earth Science and the textbook and the um, notebook that goes along with it. So I'm gonna give you guys a peek inside of that. Um, I, I was um, asked to do this review with Apologia. I was compensated for my time. I really am not the best science mom. If you followed me for long, you probably know that. Um, but I feel like I'm maybe turning over a new leaf because this past school year, the girls and I actually finished the first science curriculum. I think after 13 years of homeschooling, we finished from cover to cover the first science curriculum that we've ever finished. <laughs> like we've done science but we've never actually finished a full curriculum. And that ironically was an apology of science. I think it was zoology one. And um, I was really excited to see this um, earth science. All right, so let's take a peek inside this Apologia Earth Science Curriculum. This is the notebooking journal. This is the regular journal. Then they also have a junior version as well. I would say that the junior version is kind of depends on the on you know the abilities of your kids, but I would say maybe maybe between um, kindergarten and second third grade somewhere in there. And then I would use this for like say fourth or fifth grade on up. Um, and we'll peek inside that in just a second. And then this is the textbook part of the curriculum. I am really pleased with all the things that they're covering because it's going to give a, a lot of variety and just always something fun to look forward to. So there, this is split up into 14 lessons and what they recommend is a lesson taking about two weeks. And we'll kind of get into the schedule of that in just a second. But um, the other thing that I wanted to show you that I'm really excited for, and actually I wanted to do this project for the video, but it didn't quite work out, is that in lesson three, you and your kids are going to be making your own globe. So I don't know if this is gonna come through on video very well, but it shows you how to make your own globe. So you're building the geosphere. And so what you're gonna do then is if you look in the table of contents here, then you can um, actually go through here and you can see where you'll be taking your globe and adding to your globe depending on what you're studying that week. So in lesson three, you're going to be building your globe, making your globe kind of out of this paper mache um, type material. And then um, down here then in lesson four, you'll be talking about la uh, latitude and longitude lines. And then you will be adding lo lines of longitude and latitude to your globe. So every so often you will see in your table of contents here how you will be adding another thing to your globe based on whatever it was that you learned that week um like here lesson 11 add freshwater biomes to your globe and so by the end of this curricula you will have an amazing globe to be able to show off and store in your um, schoolroom, um put on a shelf and i think that that would be it, that that is going to be just such a fun way to kind of tie your whole year of science together and have this amazing globe to kind of show off at the end. A couple other things that I wanted to point out in the textbook is they have, um, I don't know, every couple of, of, of pages or maybe a couple of times per lesson, they have these handy little worldview um, tidbits in the corner. And basically what it is, is just kind of tying it back to the creator and um, just sharing about how our earth is so uniquely and beautifully created. And then it ties it back with scripture and it quotes scripture and to kind of tie it all together. So that is all another really cool part that I really liked. And then um, another thing is the projects. There are so many fun projects in this. I am just super excited. And those are every, uh, there's several activities slash projects per lesson. 
So I thought that that was really, really good. And um, also the other thing that I thought is fantastic about this um, particular volume is that it is very heavy on the mapping. So your kids are gonna do a lot with mapping, a lot with their globe. And I love that because I know for my kids, that's always an area that we can work a little bit more at that we can, um, you know, dig into a little bit more. So here's another awesome project, making edible rocks, super fun. So I am really excited about this textbook and using this this year with my girls for an array of reasons, but those are some of the highlights that I found as I was reading through this curriculum. All right, so let's take a quick look inside the notebook. So again, this is maybe a little bit older. They do have a junior version as well. Just depends on your ages of your kids. So what I love about this is lots of things, but I will show you some highlights. So at the beginning of the book, it actually has a suggested weekly schedule that you can follow. I really like that. Um, I, I'm not a big like schedule follower. I like to kind of make my own schedule, but it is nice to kind of see how the writer of the curriculum has intended it to flow. So like I said, um, the lessons take about two weeks. So you can see here week five, it breaks it down for you, kind of what you should read, um, the notebook, the notebook pages, which are this. This is the notebook, the textbook pages that you should read, the activities that you should do, that kind of thing. So I really do like that it gives you kind of that outline and kind of that idea of schedule to follow. Then within the notebook, your child is going to be doing a lot of notebooking and um, even creating some what I would call lap book pieces within the notebook that you're not making an extra lap book. I guess you could if you wanted to, but you're kind of making lap book pieces that will go into the notebook. They're going to be writing out um, what they find when they do some of the different projects that you're going to be doing together. Uh, like for instance, this is a lip, lift the flap. So they will um, cut these out, glue them over here to match the definition of these words, and then lift the flap on those. So that's really fun. Um, they will, um, at the end of a lesson, they will write down what they will remember. There's kind of some prompts here to kind of spur their memory and get them to be thinking about what they've learned. There's a lot of fun activities like this. I know my kids really like to do, I wouldn't even call them hands-on activities, just kind of notebooking activities, right? Like just to sit down and, and um, kind of use their brains in that way. It's not like a big, blown, you know, overblown project or anything like that, but it's just to sit and kind of review what they've learned in that way. So I, so that is my video review of Apology at Earth Science. I hope that this was helpful. If you're looking for something to use in your homeschool this fall, I am super excited about this. I highly recommend checking out Apologia of, of all kinds, but definitely check out their new Earth Science um, volume. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig in with my girls this fall. So anyway, I hope this was helpful and have a great day.